In this video, I'll show you how to set up your launch key in older versions of Live, such as Live 8 and Live 9, and give you an overview of the functions on the launch key. Connect your launch key to your computer using the provided USB cable. Your launch key Mark III will work as a standard MIDI controller inside older versions of Live, and you'll be able to set up custom mappings using the pots, pads, and faders. However, you won't be able to control clip launching or the mixer. You are able to control these functions in Ableton Live 10, so click on the link below if you'd like to install your free copy of Ableton Live 10 Lite. On a PC, go to Option Preferences, and on a Mac, go to Live Preferences. Configure your track, sync, and remote settings as shown on screen for your operating system. Your Launch Key Mark III is now ready to use with older versions of Ableton Live. To map the pots, pads, and faders to parameters inside Live, select MIDI in the top right, click on the parameter that you wish to control, Move the dial that you wish to control that with and press the MIDI button again. Let's have a brief look at the new features of the Launch Key Mark III. This applies to the Launch Key 25, 37, 49 and 61. Fixed Chord Mode lets you easily play and build your own complex chords. The Creative Arpeggiator allows you to quickly find new melodies, sounds, and rhythms. Scale Mode allows you to map all the notes you play to your chosen key. Scale Chord Mode generates a bank of chords based on your selected scale. User Chord Mode allows you to assign 16 custom chords to the pads. Custom Modes allow you to create custom mappings for any performance or studio rig using Novation components. These can be created for the pots, the pads, and also for the faders if you're using a Launch Key 49 or 61. You can learn more about all of these great features in the in-depth tutorials.